I really don't want Michael to see the caption because I'm trying to get his authentic reaction. Now, in my 25 years as a journalist, yes, 25 years, although I look much younger than that, I thought I'd seen it all until now. Check this out. There's a man who wants to have surgery to create a vagina for himself, fine, but he doesn't want to have his penis cut off, no. He's demanding he be given a vagina while also keeping his willy attached firmly in place. So he'd have both a vagina and a penis down there at the same time. Wait, hold on. He wants to have a vagina and a penis simultaneously. And he wants the public to pay for it. So he wants taxpayers' money? Yeah. To pay for his surgery so he can have both a willy and a vagina. Am I going to get to see this donut or are they just going to talk about it? No, you don't get to see it. But oh you gosh. get to see a panel where somebody tries in somewhat way to defend it. Oh, that's, is it James Barr? It's not. Fucking James. He's got one of his miscreants up. <laughs> So this geezer is a non-binary patient in Canada. Non-binary as in he thinks he's a mix of both genders and he's actually suing health chiefs who are refusing to pay for the surgery. In court documents, he argues that forcing him, actually I think I should be referring to him as them to be respectful, forcing them to undergo binary surgery could be considered an illegal act of conversion therapy as well as a violation of the Ontario Human Rights Code. Now, I've got no issues with anybody identifying as whatever they want to be. Pick your own gender. That's completely cool, but do just that. Pick one. In no way can anyone convince me that someone is mentally in a good space if they want to butcher their body and walk around with a willy and a fanny. And before people start telling me, oh, what about hermaphrodites? That's different altogether, because hermaphrodites are born with both male and female reproductive organs, so not just the bits on the outside. Now, predictably, LGBTQ rights groups and lefty lawyers have come out and screamed discrimination, exclusion, while refusing to acknowledge that this is a man. He was born a man, he'll die a man, and when his skeleton is dug up by scientists in the future, keen to learn about humans of the past, guess what? His DNA and his structure will be presented as a man. You know these people on the bikes? Mm. You guys ever seen Mad Max? Just the wastelands, and there's like really like quirky dressed up people and like these psychos on the back of their bikes waving these flags. That's what it reminds me of. That's what that woman reminded me of. Are they standing for the man that wants a vagina and a penis? I don't know to that extent, but I just know that these people are screaming discrimination. <sighs> oh man, the victim Olympics, they never end. <laughs> Megan, this is nuts. No, no, better no, white no, girls no, the you, one that you, defends you, it. Okay, you're non-binary, no, no problem with that. But saying you want to have a vagina and a willy at the same time, because that's how you feel, and they expect us to pay for it. And don't say to me, but it's in Canada, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This could happen over here. I can just tell, I can just tell. The dress sense, the way she's sitting, the look she was giving him. I know, I already know who's going to push back here. It's the girl in the middle. I guarantee you it's you, her. Oh, you think the girl in the middle? The girl in the middle is the one that's going to push back. Okay. Doing enough. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to say this is in Canada, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Um, I honestly don't know what the answer is because... The answer um, is, it's complete madness. It is madness. No, it's there not. Is, there is, like, an obsession... It, it is an obsession with, like... The physical. Oh, I'm pleasantly surprised. Proven wrong. Proven wrong. I'll take that on the chin. Do you know what that shows you? Never judge a book by its cover. And I'll still do it. <laughs> I judge everyone. It, it is. Do you want to take a second guess now? <laughs> it's got to be this one. Okay. It has to be this one. Wait, just uh, just tell the people who you think it is. The one in blue. The one in blue. It right, has to okay. be the one in blue. All right. Cool. With mm -hmm. a lot of this. Okay, item. let me uh, put this to you. Okay, in that, a woman who wants that. bigger want, boobs. Megan wasn't finished. Megan wasn't finished. Finished. Go on, Megan. Megan wasn't finished. I wasn't finished. But amongst the fucking red one, <laughs> I've been duped. They've blended in. <laughs> I thought I could tell these people apart so easily. Like the, I, you know, when I, I say something, and I'm in a group of people, you can tell who's going to fight with you. I thought I had it down to a T. Clearly, I've, I've you got been it wrong duped. twice. You got it wrong twice. Third time lucky. Who do you think right. it's going to be? <laughs> The black guy. <laughs> she's doing a James Barr. She's getting all stressed, like, yeah. huffing and puffing. Like, I just need to talk right now and just shout my point across. Not talk my point across and make valid points. I just want to shout my point across because you're outrageous for being against this. That's the thing. Like, they, these people know that they're chatting shit. Because if somebody was saying something about, like, black people, right, they were calling me a monkey or they were saying something <laughs> disparaging, I would sit there in silence. I'll wait for them to finish and then just verbally eviscerate them. I don't need to jump up and down and prove their point. Right, they'll literally start calling me a monkey if I start acting like that. But you only act like that and you only get irate and you start cutting people up because you know they're about to say something that you can't refute. 
And so you start acting like a caged animal. All of this, being trans, most doctors would agree, is an actual real, like, it's a serious thing. And like you mentioned intersex people earlier. Science can do this stuff. And, you know, I have really, I'm supportive of like the trans community, but there is no scientific backing for being non-binary. I don't really care because what, I'm, what the thing here is, woman wants bigger boobs, she gets bigger boobs. We could say where she was but born with smaller boobs. But the NHS doesn't pay for it. They do. There's a lot of instances where they do. Very a woman wants a long time, vagina not tightened for... or she wants a vagina... She pays for that. that. No, that they do that on the NHS. Ma- no, they don't. Narinda, no, they don't. They don't. No, you can't get your vagina tightened on the NHS. Narinda, you are describing a woman having other other works done to make herself feel more feminine or, or well, for more confidence, whatever. We're not talking about changing a woman's sex to, to sorry, a woman's gender to a male gender or a woman saying, it's actually, bits, I, 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 I want a penis as well. You said at the beginning, it's just bits. This is so dumb. When a woman gets breast implants, we call them fake tits, right? The key word is fake. They're not real, right? The women know that and we know that. I'm not going to go as far as to say you are a fake man to someone's face or a fake woman, but when women get fake tits, they're fake tits, right? Yeah. So a, a woman can get plastic surgery. Yeah. That is fine. She, if she walks around saying to, to, to young women or whatever, these are my real breasts, then there's going to be a problem because she's lying. Those are not her real breasts. The girls that get BBOs have fake bums. They're still women. If they lie about it, then there's a problem. We all know they're fake. The problem here is that when they want to say, oh, I'm this and I'm that, they'll say, no, I am literally that thing. And I'm like, well, you're not, though. Biologically, you're not. And so we shouldn't shape society around that. But I also think it's just an irrelevant point to make and it's it doesn't it's not a, a valid argument against what they're discussing here. Like somebody getting bigger boobs or a vagina tightened is different to trying to be two genders at once by having both a willy and a vagina and getting the public to pay for it. It's just it's a completely different you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you want to get a vagina on your forehead, go for it, but pay for yourself. Why are we paying for it? What does that got to do with us? I've heard of uh, women getting boob jobs on the NHS before, like under special circumstances. Yeah, but, but it still, would have to be for medical reasons. It's for medical reasons. Yeah. But that's still, that, that's, in a di- that's a whole different thing. That is a whole different thing. And look, if, look, you, can get, you can get 50 vaginas. You can be like that guy in, in Naruto, got the eyeballs all over his arm. You can have the eyeballs all over your, over your, uh, your you can have the vagina all over your forearm if you want. I don't really care. You was going to say have the eyeballs all over your vagina. Yeah, you can do that as well. You can turn your, you know, in Pan's Labyrinth when they go like that, that monster. You can have the I fucking... reckon there's people who have done that, you know, got teeth tattooed, tattooed on their vagina so it looks like a... Oh, like that horror film. Do you remember it? No. you never seen it? What horror film? It's called Teeth, basically. This woman... Oh, I've, I've always wanted to watch it, but I've never watched oh, it. Oh, it's fucking traumatising. It's, it's, it's... The film to put a man off having sex. Like, you watch that film, you ain't going inside your girl afterwards. That film is horrific. Do you see the vagina? Yeah, you see... You see you, well, you see the... You, you see the the vagina kill the penis, basically. Like, they... I, th- I can't remember what happened. Something traumatic happened to her. I think she might have been graped, and her, va- her vagina was like, fuck this, and it grew teeth. It's, it's an outrageous concept. I'm paraphrasing. I think there's something more to it. And then she just starts... Biting the dicks off of men with a vagina. Is it is it a good film? Like, is it worth the watch? No, it's fucking stupid, but it's it's also terrifying. It's stu- as a woman watching it, you're probably gonna think, oh, that's funny. But when I was watching it as a guy, I was like, what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> Not to digress, but I watched the stupidest film last night unintentionally. You know, when you're eating and you just put anything on. So I was mm. eating food, and I just put something on. And then I'd actually finished eating and I went to go turn it off and then it just took a funny turn. I was like, oh, didn't expect that. And then it was just one of them things where you can't turn it off because every two minutes, the next thing happened, the next thing happened, the next thing happened. And it was so dumb, but it was, I couldn't turn it off. And I ended up going to bed really late because I had to watch it to the end. There are cases where women will have breast reductions on the NHS or they'll have certain, you know, restorative surgeries for their... um, genitalia yes. I'll, I'll keep it i'll keep it <laughs> you can say vagina I'll it <laughs> the but, already. <laughs> but those cases where, where there's a medical need for it that is paid for by the nhs there have been cases where women have done it for cosmetic reasons and have blagged their way to get the nhs to pay for it and then right. they've been vilified by the public and by the nhs Rightly and they've so. they, in so. many cases yeah. they've been criminally prosecuted but Good. you know you take the example of hermaphrodism 
there is still a biological sex with hermaphrodites. They still have XY chromosomes. Mm -hmm. They are still biologically male. Yeah. And I would say that a doctor has a duty of care to any person that thinks that they want to add a willy and a vagina to themselves, mm -hmm. and they should owe them a duty of care of investigating what underlying mental illness Maybe they, they clearly have. have. And if Maybe they, they, they don't, have. No, they do, and if they yeah. don't have a mental illness, then I don't think that we should be supporting the fetishization of biological sex but or gender do you know or anything like that. Do you really know that this debate has become, this is one person, this isn't the whole world, it's one person. No, no, one person. It's, it's, it's starts it's 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 start, it's it's one person and it, it spreads, it's, it's how it works. It always starts as one person and it always snowballs every single time. If you start, if you allow one person to get a vagina on the NHS whilst they have a penis, it will not stop at one person because what gives them the right to be the only person to get it and not me? What if Sabi wants a dick? I, I definitely don't, by the way. In case she does, though, in case she wants flaps and a dick. Never. What makes it so that she can't get one, but this individual can? But look, I also think it's wrong because I don't think any surgery should be done on the NHS unless it is for medical reasons because yeah, yeah. you're then taking up time of 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 surgeons and nurses and doctors who could be seeing to people who are actually dying or have real health conditions that need seeing to urgently and you're taking up their time because you want to have a willy and a vagina mm -hmm. and you want it on the nhs it just it doesn't make sense and it's just wrong and how anyone could support that is outrageous to me if you want to do it go do it go pay for it go do it privately but don't try to take up the nhs's time and money for something so ridiculous oh, it may not 100%. be ridiculous to you but for That's example ridiculous. i want a nose job i'm not going to expect the nhs to do it they need to do the nose jobs on the people who actually need to be able to breathe and shit like i wouldn't expect to take up their time of people who are in desperate need for my own selfish reasons it's wrong these are people that were not raised properly. Yeah. Fatherless homes. You think you can go to the NHS and get a fucking willy? Uh, like, just whenever you want. Like I say, we're not all struggling to get healthcare as it is. Do you know what I mean? I can't even get a doctor's appointment these days. So this stuff infuriates me. We were at the doctor's literally the other day, right? When you text me and they sat there and they were like, yeah, we'll get you. It was for one of my relatives. They were like, oh, we'll get you this machine. And then, like, what, a day later, whilst everyone's waiting, I've gone home. They're like, oh, so the machine's not working. I was like... So we, people that need it can't even be yeah. seen. But you want to go, even these women that have been going for their tits to get their, their breasts done, you're, you're scumbags as well. Why are you blagging the NHS for cosmetic treatment? Just deal with it. You've got small boobs, you've got small boobs. Like, go, get, go get it done yourself. I don't care what you do to people. Like, we shouldn't be paying for it. This is just hyper kind no, of full I, I rage. Do think, I do over. think, yeah, we way, way talk out the trans We really do. We're talking about 0.01% yes, of the whole and it, world. And it, and, it, and, it, and it sets a precedent. That's it doesn't. Gender, yes, 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 it does. Gender if, 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 if is this, fluid. If this, person, if this person wins this case, then you're going to have more people come out it's, saying, it will be I'm the same. Law, yeah, yeah, exactly. It will be enshrined in law that that sets a, a precedent. I don't like to demonise people. We're not demonising. I'm not demonising. I feel like that we attack and demonise we talk no, we're not. Too much about it. We do demonize no, them. No, 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 no. And you know Lorinda, what? Lorinda, 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 this is Human. independent of the public of JJ. We're not demonizing anyone. <laughs> right here, I'm stating facts. This is someone born a male who wants to have a penis and a vagina. What's it to I'm, you? Not, I'm, not I'm not demonizing. What's it I'm not you? demonizing that person. Do what you I'm want saying, to do, but pay for it yourself. Exactly. Pay for it yourself. That's it. That's so not your demonizing. Problem is, That's not demonizing. So your problem is the money. The problem is the public should not be paying for that. Oh my lord, that woman was insufferable. You know what? They can say like you're like it's demonizing, but even so, it's not. I'm not bothered because I think, I think that it's there's bigger problems in the world yeah. than wanting to have two forms of of, of gen genitalia. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's just it's it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. There's there's absolutely no reason why anyone in this world needs to have surgery to have both a a, a, a willy and a vagina. Yeah, I don't care if you want to get a clam on your eye and a dick on the back of your forehead. I don't care. It's, but if you want to do that with your own money, go ahead. But why are you asking for other people to pay for it? The NHS is already stretched as thin as it could possibly be right now. People are walking away from their professions because people in the NHS are getting paid less than your everyday Joe Schmo down the road. They're complaining about their pain and you want to go and waste time to get something that, first of all, you don't need. And I agree with what that girl said. They should be evaluated. Someone that thinks that they... That, that wants that wants both because they're taking it a step further normally mm. trans people are like, oh i want to uh 
I want to be affirmed by that gender or whatever. And so they'll do the transition. And that's a whole other conversation. You just, you want both and you want it on our time. But this is it. They're, they're, she's saying this is one person and they're saying well, it, it, it sets the precedent. But it does because there's a lot of non-binary people out there. Oh, it's definitely so growing. There would be a lot of people who, if they saw that this was far, like went ahead, they would be they would be doing it as well. Well, look, don't get us wrong. Yeah, I don't care if you're non-binary. I, honestly, I don't no, care. No, it's not about caring about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just clarifying yeah. for the idiots in the back. Like, I don't care that you're non-binary. I don't care you're trans. Do whatever you want to do. It's not demonizing. If I went to the NHS and I said I want you to do this, whatever cosmetic surgery to me at your expense and the public's expense. That would be unfair. It's nothing to do with what gender you are, what sex you are, whatever whatever it is. It's nothing like that. So don't take it that way. What it is is that you want to go for something that you should be paying for for yourself. And I don't even know if it's possible to give somebody an active working vagina and have a working penis at the same time. I don't know if that is even possible. I know hermaphrodites are born with them, but I don't know if it's possible to even give somebody that. If it is, pay for it yourself. The world don't owe you shit. That's all it is. There's no, there's no hate. There's no discrimination. No one's demonizing you because I don't give a shit. I, I'll, I'll talk to somebody with ten vaginas. I don't really care. But if you tell me, yeah, I got the NHS to do this and I didn't pay for nothing, taxpayers paid for it. Then I'm gonna look at him and be like, you're, you're a waste man, or a waste girl, or, or waste they them, or whatever it is. 